there, welcome to my curls. Y'all, I'm in my work shirt. I gotta go to the ice cream shop today, but I wanted to come outside because it is absolutely beautiful. It is the first day of fall, and when I opened the door this morning to let Maxie outside, it was so cool and crisp, like the humidity is gone, the heat is gone, and I was wanting to do this video, and so I thought, why not? I've got 30 minutes, I'm gonna come outside and do this little video for you all. My video for you today is the seven signs that let you know you're ready to go gray. And I've really been thinking about this. I get asked a lot, like, how did I know it was time to do it? And so I'm gonna let you know the seven signs. So here we go, number one. Have you been thinking about it? I know for me, the thought had never crossed my mind. I had my hair colored, I came home, took a shower, I had to get all the color off my scalp because it was already itching, and I was sitting on the couch, and the thought occurred to me. What if I just stopped the madness? Like, what if I stopped coloring my hair? I'd never thought about that before, and there it was. So, I just kind of sat with that for a couple minutes, and I ended up texting my hairdresser, Betsy, which is a friend of mine, and I said, Betsy, this is what I'm thinking. What do I do? How does this work? What does it look like for me with all of this curly hair? Just tell me what to expect. And her response was, oh boy, okay, let's talk about it. And so literally in a span of just a few minutes, I decided to stop coloring my hair. I was so fed up with it and I hated it so much that I made the decision that quickly and I really never looked back. So that is sign number one that you're ready. Are you thinking about it? Sign number two kind of goes w along with that, but have you said the words out loud? For me, I can think about something, you know, all I want to, but when the words actually come out of my mouth and I say the words to somebody, it makes it real. So have you talked to your hairdresser or maybe told your husband or your kids or a friend, just have the words come out of your mouth that you're thinking about it. And if so, that is an excellent step two that you are ready to go gray. Step number three, are you looking for information? Are you researching what it's going to look like for you to have gray hair? And clearly you are because you're watching my video. So that answers that question for you. I know that I went online, I googled um, information, I got on YouTube, and I had a really hard time finding women who had curly hair like me that had gray hair. That was what I wanted to see. I could find women all day long who had straight hair, but that really didn't help me. I wanted to see curly hair and see what was going to happen and what the transition was going to look like for me. So. Obviously, you're on YouTube and you're doing your research and you're looking for information and women like you. So, check mark step number three. Sign number four is, are you coloring your hair at least every four weeks? I know for me, when I got to that four week point, when I had to color my hair every four weeks because the gray was just, was just too much, that was really the turning point for me. And honestly, I should have been coloring it every three weeks, but it just made me so mad. I just couldn't make myself do it. So if you're at the point that your gray is coming out so fast and so predominantly that you're coloring your hair every four weeks, that is an excellent sign that it is time for you to give up the dye and go gray. Sign number five, are you scheduling important events in your life and gatherings and vacations and all these things that you need to um, go do that are important to you. Are you scheduling those around your hair appointments? For me, I would book my hair appointments months out just so that I was always on Betsy's schedule. And so I would look at my calendar and go, oh my gosh, well, I've got to be here or it's Christmas or it's Thanksgiving or I'm going to be on vacation or I need to be like, there's graduation, so I always had to make sure that my hair appointment was right before one of those big events so that I thought I could look my best by having my hair colored. So if you are scheduling your hair appointments around big life events, again, 
that's another sign it's time to give it up. Sign number six, do you have a drawer full of touch-up products? I tried everything there was from the little spray color in the bottle to a pencil to a shampoo. Um, I had this little stuff in a compact that sort of was like eyeshadow that I would get in here and touch up the roots. Like I tried it all. So if you are that person that has a drawer full of root touch up products, again, that's a fantastic sign. It's time to give it up. And sign number seven, y'all, this is just my opinion. Don't get mad at me, but this is sign number seven. If you're over the age of 35 or like 38 or older and you have met all of the other six signs, I think you're ready. If you're younger than 35, if you're in your late 20s or early 30s, my advice is just, just hold off a minute and let me explain to you why. You kind of have to have a thick skin when you decide to start this journey because People are not going to like what you're doing. People are going to make comments to you about your gray hair, or they might talk about you behind your back and then you hear it later from somebody else that so-and-so said so-and-so about your gray hair showing. And the toughest part about all of this really, really, really is the first three to four months. And once you get kind of beyond that point, it, it's easy breezy, but in the beginning, it's tough. And so I think you have to be a little thick skinned. You have to be very confident in who you are and in your decision. And when you're younger, 30, um, I just don't know that you're there yet. I really feel that once you hit 35 or 40, you are confident enough in yourself and what you want to be able to stay in your ground and not turn back if something negative happens. I get so many comments by ladies who tell me that they tried it once and somebody said something nasty so they colored their hair. Or they got three months in and it just freaked them out because they were scared and they colored their hair. And I really feel that once you get to a certain age, um, you, you can stay on your ground. You're not going to turn back. But when you're younger, I know you think you know who you are. But once you're older, you realize you really didn't know who you are, if that makes sense. And so I just would love to see you be 35 or older and have met all of the other six signs. Just my opinion, y'all. So anyway, there is a rundown of my seven signs that tell you, you know, you're ready to take the jump, that you are ready to go gray make the decision you can do it it's the best decision i've ever made you all have heard me say over and over um, how happy i am with my decision and that how much it has changed my life it has changed the way i feel the way that i do things and so check out my other videos i love to talk about my silver hair and i hope that this helps you so if it does please thumbs up on the video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you later.